Welcome back, everybody, to Dicing with Death for our fourth and final hour this week. Um, yeah, it'll be the last bit of Dicing with Death this week. And then we got Solemn after this in a couple hours. Woo fun, fun, fun. Yeah, if you're just joining us, welcome. Stick around for this hour. Don't worry about spoilers. Who cares about spoilers? Remember, Intel retention rates. Stick around, everyone. We can still win Intel. So, um, Dice, uh, not Dyson with Death. Qualnir has lost all of his jewelry, much of yes. his wealth. Yeah, so you get your ass kicked by some jungle monkeys or something, treasure goblins. Um, you wake up in a hut. Uh, you are alone. Your wounds appear to be bound. Um, most of your stuff is still around. Your armor has been removed. Blood I litter's still there, oh, etc. Yeah. Like I said, everything that we didn't go through before the break is still there. Mm hmm. Hmm. You're at one HP. I, I look around for another person in the room. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a small eight foot diameter round hut. You're the only one in here at the moment. Okay. Uh, I start crawling towards the end. I, mean, I figure yeah, I can't walk. You can walk. Okay. You can walk. You're at one HP. All right. I, I get to my feet and stumble towards the entrance. Okay, yeah. I poke my head out. Shove, yeah, you shove the little reed canopy aside and mm -hmm. look out. Um, there's a dirt road in front of you. You see a river a few feet away from that. Mm, wooden structures. Does this look like Cinturon? Cinturon? Probably, yeah. Mm. There's people milling about the street. A bunch of huts similar to yours around you. Okay. Uh, does this look like the area that I had book to place with Michelle earlier. Yeah, remarkably so. This okay. looks like yeah, pretty much the cool. same hut, if not uh, very. A lot of sigh one. of relief and look around for Michelle if I can spot her anywhere. Um, you you don't see her immediately. How okay. long? Yeah, but I I, I'll just probably gonna hang stand for like twenty seconds, rest. scanning the area, and then at the end of that, head back into the hut and take a fucking nap. Yeah. All right. All Eventually, up. Michelle returns. Um, she seems relieved to see you conscious again. What happened? Ugh, those little green apes nearly tore you to pieces. Yeah, they did. Did you manage to take them out? Take them out? I killed a couple and chased them back into the jungle. You know they got most of our wealth, right? Her eyes narrow. I know, we're going to have to go back and get it. I dragged your dragged us back to the lizard men, and they took us back to Cinturon. Oh, mistakes are made, Michelle. Mistakes are made. Thank you for uh, helping me out, though. As soon nice. as I'm rested, we can uh, go back into the jungles and find those little fucking furry monkey bastards. Okay, so what's your plan? Uh, well, can you find a cleric or a healer around here, someone that can? Uh, I won't be able to move for. I won't be much of, of much use for a week if not. Uh, she says she's hired a healer, and who's been tending to you? And considering you're alive, seems to have been doing his job. How many days has this been? Uh, Four? Okay, well, first things first, we should go to see about this Esmeralda chick. I bet we can get her body shipped away to the right place already. Um, then we'll have some favors owed us, and then we can go back in the jungle, find these bastards. They took the magic mirror, you know. You should have given that to me. I would have taken better care of it. Don't give me that woulda, shoulda, coulda crap. I'm not the one who fled from the ghost. It was a ghost. <sighs> grumble, grumble. I, I get to my feet and I go to... Uh, I, I look around for the guy that is supposed to have the coffin. Okay. Um, yeah. So you leave the hut and wander around Cinturon. Yeah. What equipment are you bringing with you? Are you armed? I mean, I, I have all of my stuff. Okay. My armor and my weapons 
and that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, his name was Grant. He gave you a rough description. Yeah, roll a yeah. charisma check. Okay, I just have to get rid of my nice clothes, my fancy clothes, and my ninja clothes, because apparently all I have is common clothes left. Yep. Grant. Yeah, roll a charisma check. All right, let's figure out who's buried in his tomb. D20. Ooh, not D200, plus 10. 27. Yeah, you ask a couple people and they point you straight to the... To a, it was called a warehouse, but it's basically just a, you know... Right. A section of real estate on the coast okay. with a bunch of boxes and stuff. All right. Uh, I, yeah, a scruffy-looking human by the name of Grant seems to be managing. I walk on in and uh, look, try and look important, as important as I can, despite my condition. You do your best. <clears throat> grant? I'm looking for a Grant. That'd be me. I am here to collect a body long overdue for collection. It is the body of Esmeralda that should have been here for... About a year now. A body? What do you think this is? A cemetery? It's being held here. It's a coffin. Moonblade came by a year ago. Ish. Oh. Uh, that is a body in that box? There's a body in that box. I'm here to collect it. Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah. Get, yeah. Yeah. He directs you over to a... Yeah. Do you have some workers that can help move it for me? Um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He snaps his fingers. He seems a little bit taken aback. You're getting the impression he had no idea there was a body. And he... Yeah. He gathers some people. Um, it's okay. basically just a box about five feet long, two feet wide rectangular box okay um where do you direct them to move it i look out over the ocean to see if i can still find the icebreaker um it's been less than a week hopefully roll an intelligence check or 25 perception either way that's pass um, yeah, you do. You do spot it. Nice. To that ship, I say, pointing to the icebreaker. Okay. Um, and then I walk with them to the icebreaker. All right. All right. The men carry this this crate, this coffin, mm -hmm. over to Dennis' ship, okay. and deposit it. I, I you know I walk with them and try and grab Dennis' attention when I, we get there. Uh, she's around. Yes. Denna, my darling, I say. And you I kind of do like a, a quick glance at uh, 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 Michelle and kind of shake my head a little bit. What happened to you? Let's just say I got beat up in the forest and if it wasn't for my friend Michelle here, I'd probably be dead. Well, aren't we all glad? Aren't we all glad? What's... What's this? I was just wondering if whoever your new icebreaker captain is had a, a moment to for a job, a delivery job. To deliver you? No, the box. It needs to get somewhere. To where? I, I give her the name of the town that the guy gave me, that Moobly gave me. It was like you Furkelstin. don't remember? No, it was Furkelstin or Ferguson or Roland Funkle, Funkle, Funkle Bunkle. I thought it started with an F. Thirty-one. Okay, uh, Fainir. Fainir. The, the Elven homeworld. Your your hometown. Oh shit! Yeah, Fainir. Okay. Um, it needs to go to Fainir to the owner's parents. Yeah, it's a very legitimate job. There's nothing there's nothing uh that needs to be hidden about this. If you guys don't want it, I'll find some other ship to do it. I just figured, you know, keep the work with the friends. 
Sure, that can be arranged. Excellent. How much would a uh, that cost? Uh. Mm, say 30 gold just for the cargo space done i i can make make the elf wood worth our worth our trip that would be a pleasure denna absolutely a pleasure now i hate to be so abrupt and not have time to sit and chat with you like we normally would but it seems appears that some of these forest monkeys that did me in took most of my wealth and a certain magical looking glass that needs to be recovered. What were you doing in the jungle? Hunting down a ghost. She shrugs. You're a strange one. Oh, tell me about it. Um, I, I am most grateful for you for getting this home to Esmeralda's family in Fainir. Uh, it will mean a great deal to a friend of mine, which would then in, in turn mean a great deal to me. Which then in turn, in theory, could mean a great deal to you. So let's just say this is a best situation for all of us. And I flash her one of my award-winning smiles. <laughs> <laughs> all right. They load up the coffin mm -hmm. onto the icebreaker. Yeah, I, I let them know what's uh, in it. That's a body of okay. this person. Blah blah blah. They seem a little unnerved. But explain that going home and going home. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you subtracted your thirty gold. I did.
help me lift my village from the darkness that has befallen it. Tell me of this darkness. Evil spirits have emerged from the jungle. Ancient spirits threatening to take back all of the civilization that they have birthed. I beg of you, we are in need of your help. Do ancient spirits contain or guard ancient treasures? If it is treasure you seek, treasure you will find. Then we have a deal. Heal I me. have no interest in this treasure. It is all yours. Heal me, Claire. All that I want is peace. Heal me, Mr. Shaman, Claire, and we again. will be done with this. All right. He pats Michelle's hand, indicating her to let his go, and steps away. Um, searches on his shelves amongst the vials and bottles, and pulls one off. It is sort of like a sickly green color. Looks like kale juice. Utterly disgusting. And he hands it to you and says, drink up. Okay, I drink it. No questions asked, just... All right. It takes up tastes absolutely dis- absolutely disgusting. Oh. Tastes like liquid vegetables. Ah, uh, disgusting. Uh, roll two d four plus two. Uh. Nine. All right. You gain nine HP. Okay. Uh, more. I say of him. I need more. more. He looks at you. How much life do you have total? 25. I have a 10 out of 25 right now. More. More. You are a big fellow. He takes a few steps towards you. Places a hand on your cheek. How can I trust you? There is no trust, but what we we'll make for ourselves. I give you my word. I will return. I will return. He narrows his eyes. I will give you more, but only if you leave your wife in this village. No harm will come to her. I swear it. I cannot command her to do anything. She is her own person. He looks to her. She looks to you. Give me the healing. She will come with me. We will come back. That is not the deal I presented to you. I have coin. Great and beautiful coins. These pulses are priceless. I cannot make them myself. I need her in order to exact our revenge. It would not be the same without her there. And then you will take her with what little healing I have been able to provide. I look to Michelle and give her a this is your call look. Um, I'm going to out of character defer this to you. Okay. As a first step towards acquiring a henchman, you can tell me what you think she would do or what you would do. I think she would be kind of pissed off. But understand, I, I would hope that she would understand the greater, the need for my HP over her attendance. Yeah, sure. Sorry, how much total HP did you say you had? I have 25 max. I am at 10. I am down by 15. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, she, yeah, she agrees to stay in, in the city in exchange okay. for the healing potion. Thank you, sweetie. Um, all right. Um, he pulls a, it is an even smaller vial than you were given before. I quaff it. Um, he stops you before you quaff it. Or do you not listen? Uh, no, I, I, I pause then. Um, he says, this is very, very powerful. Take a, Just take a sip at a time and see what you need. I nod and take a sip. All right. Um, you feel yourself growing stronger. Um, he instructs you to drink about a third of it. 
what I thought. So go ahead and roll a D D eight plus one. I already had it queued up. Three. Three. Brings okay. me thirteen. Shit. Uh, I do another third. Two. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Fifteen last third. Here we go. Four. Oh my god. Wow, that was even worse than the regular healing, huh? I think it came out to be exactly this. It, they were both nine. Okay. What HP are you at? I'm at 19 out of 25. Okay. Um, so much for that potion of extra I, healing. He, I will see that your wife comes to no harm. She may even learn something while she is here amongst us. I don't have to worry about her coming to harm. She could break you like a twig if she wanted. Probably an accurate statement. Yeah. Um, um, he hands you another gr- vial, of, uh, jar of green liquid, similar to the first one. The first one. Okay, I'm I just down it. Healing. You what? <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be for the road. He says, as you. Oh wait a minute! Hold on. No, no, I'm only down by six. Up to you. You got about five. Yeah, five seconds to decide. Oh, I'll keep. <laughs> oh, second. I I pocket it. Okay. I pocket yeah, it. Potion of healing. Potion of healing. Okay. He tells you to take your your dog faced men and we do. I, I take gnolls. my my knolls and I head right back to where the lizard men are uh, waiting for us. Back on the boats. Yeah, back to the boats. All right, you leave Michelle and Jarvis under the protection of the shaman. Okay, and head back down river towards the Tesloy. And your loot. Okay. Um, I'd like to find more or less the place where we got screwed. I mean, it was basically at the base of the fall. Oh, no, no, you'd walk the jungle. Yeah, base of the falls, then walk along the road for or the path for a little while. Yeah. So you head back down the river in your boat, down the elevator, mm-hmm. um, down the pool. Is it? You can actually lead them up river a little bit and f- locate the exact spot. Okay. Now is it dro- daytime or still nighttime dropping. when this is going on? Um, it is getting close to dawn. Okay. But I think this is an adventure for another session. I do. I just kind of wanted to get back to that same spot so we could start off yeah. nice and easy. Yeah. So you're back in that same spot. No obvious signs of these little green ape men. Okay. But you've got your hired gnolls. Yeah. Yukub. And you're back to Jakob. Closer to full, full HP mm-hmm. and ready to hunt some Tasloy. Fucking Tassaloy, man. I will... These bitches are not getting away from me. Fucking bitches. All right. Um, experience. Yeah. Uh, where? Oh. Wrong book. Uh, so there were the gnolls. Can you remember... Is there anything else that you did? No, it's pretty much gnolls. Tassaloy, Moonblade, Esmeralda, uh, Denna. Um, I did some stuff with Chance and Granite, but those are mostly put in yeah. those out. Right. Uh, um, library for research. defeating the gnolls, uh, including what you give to Michelle, 210. Okay. Um... For reaching Cinturon and getting, uh, what was his name? Boris there unharmed. That'll be another 200. Mm hmm. Um, what else have you done? You're pretty close to doing this Moonblade stuff, but not quite. Like, I won't give you experience until the body is safely at rest in the elven homeland okay which presumably is on autopilot at this point but right right you never know i may need to roll for some shipwrecks or something like that to make sure it gets there safe and sound right uh is there anything i'm missing you don't get any experience with the task because you right. got defeated no i think that's it i think it's just 410 total Bummer. times 1.1 1. 1 is 451 what do you need to level up <laughs> another 90,000 or uh, 20,000 basically 
I'm at 21,675 out of 40K. Yeah, it's going to be a while before Quonia rolls It's going to be a while. Okay. That's it for Dicing with Death today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we can try and schedule sometime this week, maybe, Ryan? Or Yeah, yeah. Um, Do you want to tentatively plan for Wednesday? Is Wednesday our usual day? Wednesday yeah. is perfect for me. I can do Wednesday around six, like after Intel. After the Intel thing, Unless yeah. The challenge. Maybe we could do um, ruins our plans again. Yeah, maybe we should say six thirty, so that gives me like half an hour to devise yeah, some sure. plans and send out some emails and stuff. Yeah, sure. Let's do okay. six thirty on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday at six thirty sounds perfect. Cool. We'll see you guys then. Um, I'm not going to stream right now. I'm going to go prepare for roleplay right now. Roleplay will be on in about like an hour, hour and a half. I will host it here so you can hang out in Koibu chat and watch roleplay if you want. Um, we might stream after roleplay, but I doubt it. But tomorrow is going to be a pretty heavy streaming day. We've got uh, the weekly reroll. We've got behind the screen. We've got, uh, we've got cartography. And then we'll have some of our own stream and stuff. And then Tuesday, we're going to have misclicks and some other streaming things. Um, and also make sure you guys vote for me over at intl.gg. If we can, this is like the hardest week for us. And if we can get past this week, hopefully next week's challenge will be something we're good at again. Not that we're not good at this, but we're, we're down to five. So get your votes in intl.gg. Yeah. Vote, 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 votes, votes, votes. One, one vote per IP address. So your house is a new IP address. Your phone's an IP address. Your office, your school. Is it not emails? It's it's we it, it's unsure. It's IP, okay. but then oh, if you nice. change your email, the vote still goes through. But if you keep the same email from the same IP, then you'd get a kickback saying you didn't that it's already been used. So there's some evidence to suggest that any email or code combination, promo code combination, will count as a new vote. But it's really hard to tell if it actually is or if they're just bad at sending out errors because their error hmm. messages are really janky. I don't know. I don't vote, really know. Vote, vote, vote. Just and... get all the votes in. What time is your stream tomorrow? Noon? Is that when you do cartography? Noon, uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow. 1 o'clock yeah, PST. There will be is... another couple hours of content, even if you can't watch. Yeah. Well, open up the stream. Open up the stream, leave the leave the browser going with the with this, with this twitch.tv slash koibu on it, and that will help uh, help us win everything. Win all the monies. All the monies. All the monies. Okay, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys for roleplay in an hour or so. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.